Welcome to the Scottish Fisheries Museum's virtual tour of our Knitting the Herring exhibition. In this video, we'll take you through the highlights of the exhibition and share the unique relationship between the Gansey knitting tradition and historic fishing communities. This exhibition showcases Gansies from our nationally recognised collection, as well as wonderful creations sent in as part of our show project, as well as the show itself, which was created in collaboration with our wider Gansey network for our lockdown project and previous online exhibition. Gansies are knitted jumpers that were worn by fishermen from approximately the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century and were incredibly popular among fishing communities along the coast of England and round the coast of Scotland. Gansies were the de facto uniform of British fishermen and an integral part of fisherfolk's everyday life. Most men owned up to six Gansies at one time, with one kept for Sunday best and special occasions such as weddings. Gansies were traditionally hand-knitted in the round with a durable navy blue wool known as Siemens Iron, but have also been found in other colours and yarn strings. Their features had practical benefits for the fishermen. For example, the tightness of the knit and the lack of seam strengthened the garment and helped protect the fishermen from the harsh elements. To balance this tightness, a diamond or triangular shaped piece of fabric known as a gusset was knitted into the underarms of the garment for ease of movement. Other traditional attributes of Gansies include the shortened length at the waist and sleeves to keep the hands free and reduce the risk of the material catching on any tools or equipment on board. They would also feature a rib patterned welt stitched into the sleeves, the neck and the base of the body to signal the ends of the garment. Additionally, some Gansies, such as this one, featured a cable knit, which was thought to add an extra layer of insulation to the jumper. Generally, Gansies were never washed, so that they would become greasier and more water resistant over time. Well worn Gansies were often repaired rather than thrown away. For example, evidence of repair can be seen on the sleeve of this Gansy due to the unusual use of a marled yarn, which makes the different coloured stitching stand out. Old Gansies would be kept for filthy jobs like tarring the ropes or used as cleaning rags. As a portable craft, knitting became a means of fisherfolk to generate extra income. The nature of the industry also meant that families could rarely afford luxury goods and women were required to make clothing for their husbands and children. Fisher lasses would often knit in between their other tasks such as cooking or gutting fish and often had to work by feel in dark conditions with poor lighting. Most would be taught how to knit gansies and other garments from an early age. These socks were designed and knitted by Matthew Topsfield of Eust Yarn Studio and the pattern is based on traditional motifs found on Eriske gansies. Perhaps the most iconic aspect of gansies is the wide variety of patterns and motifs found on them. Patterns were produced using a combination of simple knit and purl stitches with occasional cables. Some patterns echo themes abundant within the lives of fisherfolk, such as the basket weave seen on this gansey, whilst other motifs such as marriage lines were more symbolic. Fisher lasses traditionally learnt knitting patterns from their mothers or the elders in their village, but also traded patterns with other lasses at ports away from home. Before patterns were recorded by folk historians, they were almost never written down. It's believed that each family or village had its own distinctive patterns. For example, the open tree of life motif on this Gansey has only been found in the East Nuke area so far. The motif also bears an interesting resemblance to the herringbone pattern, reflecting the tight bond between fishing and the way of life of the knitter's family. One of the most popular myths connected with these garments is that a drowned fisherman could be identified by the patterns on their gansey. The Isle of Erske is well known for its highly stylized patterns. They are commonly associated with ornate open work motifs that represent the work, traditions and culture of the Hebridean fisherfolk. This gansey ex exhibits approximately 14 different motifs, including distinctive Erske patterns such as the horseshoe, open tree, snowflake and starfish. Incorporated into the exhibition is the shoal of knitted herring. 
The herring patterns designed by Sheila Greenwell and US Yarn Studio take inspiration from Gansey motifs. Suspended in the middle of the exhibition room, you can marvel at each unique knit. Grouped together, they symbolise the unity and connectivity throughout this project and the longing for us to reconnect with people over lockdown. Additional submissions to the project included Gansey teddy bears, squares and bunting using patterns designed for the Murray Forth Gansey project and jellyfish from enthusiastic beginner knitters. We'd like to thank all of those who took the time to knit and send in their wonderful creations. We hope that you enjoyed our virtual tour of the Knitting the Herring exhibition. For more information on the project, Gansies and knitting in general, you can have a look at our project website, scottishgansie.org.uk, or follow us on our social media pages for more.